a group of students from Purdue and Florida doing sustainable agriculture and, and looking at how sustainable agriculture happens and things that can be improved in the developing world. The trip was the perfect balance of fun and work. We spent a lot of time on farms from dairy farms and climbing up the mountains into tomato fields and learning about Honduras and the problems they're facing with their agriculture and um, their animal science and about Honduran culture in general. Basically the goal of our trip was to expose American students to a Central American agricultural system and to talk about um, the ways that product is getting to market and uh, demand and this sort of thing. I wanted to um, explore a little bit more, get some new experiences outside of um, the U.S. and see a developing country and it definitely opened my eyes to different production techniques, agriculture techniques, and met tons of new people, made many great friends. It was really fun getting to um, you know visit all the different farms and see how they do things differently here versus the uh, U.S. because it's just about opposite some things and then other things it's very similar. So it's interesting to kind of see, you know, one way or the other. I'm on a dairy bar right now. Even though they start milking at four, we got up at five and went and watched the milk. And the first thing we got to do was go in and they let us jump right in and start help milking. So that was really cool to experience and really cool to meet the kids. The most rewarding experience is seeing the students get excited and happy and meet friends and learn about agriculture and that's why I do these trips. It's so much fun and it is exciting for the students to learn about different cultural activities. The students were phenomenally excited about every stop for the most part. Um, it's trying to get ag economists interested in plants and understanding why they're, they're actually learning about them and once they realize that they would find a market or some value for the existing materials that that became relevant. Uh, for the animal scientists, they were interested in the diseases, the animal health, um, how can we improve uh, different forages and overall land use. My favorite part of the trip was getting to know the group and um, just our little bonding times and maybe some sing-alongs on the bus and just getting to know all the other kids on the trip. My favorite part of the trip was probably going to the school where we got to see the school children and hand out little gifts to them and talk to them a little bit. The hydroponic farm was, it was incredible to me. And uh, beyond the, the hydroponic farm itself, the, the man behind it was just so interesting and so insightful. I chose Honduras because it is an amazing place to go. I think it's a hidden treasure for most of the world. Um, if you need to experience or like to experience what people are doing on a typical day, farming communities, um, social, rural development, this is a place to be because it is a developing country and they need uh, the attention of um, many NGOs or even uh, universities to help open up their opportunities for agriculture. I loved my experience here, it was awesome. It's an incredible place, I couldn't have picked a better place for spring break. I don't know how to explain it, but how do I describe this trip to another student that's going? I tell them that it's going to be an experience you've never had because they're going to see um, how farmers and people live without maybe getting two or three dollars a day. And so I encourage them. Uh, I think it takes a special kind of student to go on this trip. And uh, with that in mind, it's someone who has, is charismatic and really does care about other people and how they live. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Studying abroad is a great opportunity. It may cost a little money, but you'll get so much more back. And take every opportunity you can. You know, I know it can get expensive, but look beyond that and look at what you, uh, you know, what you can gain, not monetarily, but, you know, what, what you can gain as a person, as yourself, and build yourself. <laughs> Que baile, que baile otra vez, que baile, que siga bailando.